Spectators attending UTRGV soccer games may have noticed a change in the concession stands this year. Alcoholic beverages are now being sold at many of the university's athletic events for the first time. CBS 4's Brett Crandall has more on what prompted the policy change. Alcoholic beverages are now being sold here at the Edinburgh Baseball Stadium for UTRGV baseball games, among other UTRGV athletic events. But not everybody agrees that the policy change is a good one. Well, we're disappointed that they've chosen to uh, sell alcohol at their, at their sporting events, um, given that the majority of the college students are underage, so we feel like that could potentially be enticing. Mothers Against Drunk Driving RGV spokesperson Anna Verley has concerns over the UTRGV's decision to sell alcohol at athletic events. Hopefully they have some strict policies in place and that they have some good training so that they're able to, to monitor that. UTRGV Senior Associate Athletic Director for External Operations Chelsea Bakley says the policy change was not made lightly. As we're transitioning to UTRGV and becoming a regional university, uh, we wanted to make sure that our um, athletic games and game day services was comparable to other regional Division I institutions. In the spring, the university test piloted the sale of alcohol at baseball games and liked the results. We did see an increase um, in uh, revenue from our concession and also from our attendance and um, ticket sales. The fan survey that we put together, uh, we had a lot of positive feedback. Some students on campus say it's a good change. I think it's good, you know, whatever brings more people out to the games and uh, whatever gives people a better experience when they're watching. I just personally think that if they limit the drinking at the games that um, everything should be fine. Still other students think mixing in drinks with the game only spells trouble. The crowd is already wild up and rowdy and just adding more fuel to the flame is not really going to help much. This is also the first year that UT Austin is allowing alcohol sales at their home football games, a policy change that is taking place at many universities across the nation. In Edinburgh, Brett Crandall, CBS4 and ValleyCentral.com. The university assures us that they limit the number of drinks sold to each individual and suspend the sale of alcohol toward the end of those sporting events.